So in this video, we're going to dive into how you can earn high APRs on Delta neutral strategies, something like uh, AI16Z paired with Sol, uh, and going and shorting the other end of it, right? And we're going to walk through the process today. One of the things I want to mention is make sure that the, the platforms that you're using or the protocols that you're using have perpetuals. So for example, over here on like AI16Z, it has perpetuals here on Radium. It just needs to be somewhere. So that's one thing. And also when we are using perpetuals, we don't want to use too much leverage. Uh, otherwise, this strategy is going to work, right? Because we'll either get liquidated, we'll lose a bunch of money. Or of course, short can't even happen because, well, we don't have a platform where we could short the asset. So I've duplicated the sheet that I published in my last video. I'm also going to leave it right below this video if you guys want to check it out. But we will do basically Soul and AI16Z. I'm just going to jot these in right here as the names. And then as far as the prices go, we're going to go over here to metrics finance and go to the discover page. Now you can find these on Orca on radium directly. I just like how the software that I built does it because uh, I can go over here and do like TVLs above $500,000. And then I could do under $5 million because I probably don't want to be in stuff that has above $5 million in it just because it's not going to do as good of a return. Now I sort by the fees APR. I see stuff like this at the top. It looks amazing, whatever. So we'll go ahead and dive right into it. There's a lot of volume on this one, 15 million or so uh, in the last 24 hours on average. Uh, so I'll dive into this. And then my deposit amount, I'm typically doing like $5,000, let's just say. Uh, we can ramp this up. Again, we want to see how it works when we ramp it up. Look at the APR difference. Uh, and then from there, I will select my range. First, going to toggle this so we're not looking at those crazy decimals. My range really doesn't matter as much here simply because it doesn't matter which asset I have. I, I'm, I'm going to be shorting both of them. Um, but I also do want to go with a broader range strictly for the fact that it keeps me in range for longer and it makes it so the assets don't shift around as much. I know a lot of people want to get greedy. Don't get greedy, guys. Like when you're doing amazing APRs like this, like you don't have to get greedy. So yeah, let's just do that range 400 to 800. It's not a bad range. And if we look over here, we're starting with 13,000 AI 16 Z tokens. So we'll plop that in there on the initial amounts and then 14.82 sold tokens right under there. Just plop that in there. And then I'm also going to go over here to the settings and I'm going to grab the prices of both soul as well as ai 16 z and just plop those right in here and then we'll duplicate them over here that way we can have like a clear vision of like okay we're on a clean slate basically just like that yeah see clean slate perfect and then from there i'm like okay what happens if one asset goes to a price of say 25 cents i always like to look at the upside first in some of these scenarios strictly because i want to make sure it actually works like this process so if ai 16 z goes up 10 percent and soul only goes up a little bit because these ones aren't as correlated they could diverge that's very much possible. Let's see what happens. So 25 cents and 140. So now we do 140 over here, 25 cents over here. And then we're going to paste in the amount of each asset that we actually have just like that. So yeah, you'll notice our difference is $26. We lost $26. Well, because we're over shorted, we're shorting in total right now, 13,000 AI 16 Z, but we only have 10,350. Right. And we on average kind of sold that you know, at an average price, basically. But yeah, that's the point. Like we kind of overshort in that situation because we didn't consistently rebalance the hedge. The question is like, are the fees going to make up for this, right? Um, and this is a little bit of an extreme scenario where we see that much divergence. It's also where we don't rebalance our hedge. Like maybe this just flicks up in the time span of a day. Um, who knows, right? But point is, I like to look at the extreme because if extreme still works out, that's great. If we're doing $184 per day, which we're probably not going to be doing, I like to look at, say, past five days of volume. Just like that, that looks more consistent. So $61 per day. Even then, that outweighs all the divergence loss or, or any costs that we have associated right here. That's great. At $61 per day, one day, 55% APR. If it takes, say, three days to get to these numbers, right, we would have already generated $180 in fees, meaning we're doing 250% APR on our delta neutral strategy. That's crazy. These opportunities, they come and go. This is a great opportunity right now. Let's just say what happens if it goes down to 20 cents. This is going to be a little bit more of a reasonable scenario. And then Seoul goes down to, let's just say, 133. So 133 and 20 cents plot that in here 133 and 20 cents and then we're gonna grab the assets that we have this time we're under shorted we're shorting more soul than we have and less ai 16 z than we have and ultimately in this case scenario the short that would be performing better is ai 16 z so we don't have more exposure to the short that's performing better basically we want to get more exposure to that where you do the rebalances. But even at this, like we have a negative $31 difference. An extreme scenario, we're still doing 240%. Let's look at a not extreme scenario. Let's just say AI16Z goes to 21 cents, right? 
Sol goes to 133. There's not as much divergence over here, right? So in this instance, let's just say we have 14,000 and over here we have 12,000. And then that's going to 21 cents, just like that. Look at that, negative $7. Basically have like no loss whatsoever here. And our fees of, you know, $60 per day are going to cover that. We're gonna be very well off in this situation. So that's a great situation right here. The reason why is because they're more correlated. They went down in a more correlated manner. Guys, if Seoul went down to like, let's just say 127, right? We are basically going to have like no loss whatsoever because these assets were super correlated. So let's plot it in here, right? 127 was our sold price. I'm just grabbing them out of each asset that we have. 127. Look at that. We have a three cent loss. Throw in our fees for Delta neutral. That's the amazing part. So these assets, if they both fall 20% tomorrow, as long as they're both falling 20%, we're fine, right? Now, when it creates divergence, that's where you have to worry about it. And that's where you have to consistently monitor our shorts, rebounds. Um, there's an argument to be made where like, it's easier to do this than crypto stable, because either way, you have uh, short exposure to the full market and you have long exposure to the full market as opposed to like having more short exposure to the market and less long exposure whenever you have to rebounds. But also now you're dealing with two asset prices. So that, that price of the pool is going to shift more often. But yeah, I mean, point is, how would we set this up basically? Well, we would go over to Radium and we would execute on the short on AI16Z as soon as we enter the pool. So like say we did want to enter the pool, we go over to our liquidity and actually I think this pool, yeah, this pool's on Radium. So we could do it all on Radium. We could also do some on radium like our short on radium and our long over on orchid doesn't really matter it does not have to be on the same platform but like let's just say we're to pull up ai 16z right here and we're to deposit into this one this is 0.25 percent tier this one's 0.25 percent tier as well it's going to tell us hey we need this much soul so let's grab that much soul We'll throw it in right over here. And then we need to plot in our range. So 400 to 800, 400 to 800. And guys, if you don't want to be as active with this, just go with the broader range. Don't get 250% APR, right? Don't get greedy. If you go with the broader range, you want to rebalance as often and it'll work out pretty good. So again, some amazing strategies over here, just like that. And then it looks like we do need to plot this in again because I adjusted the range. Yeah, I mean, that kind of adds up with what we see over here on Metrics Finance. Very slight discrepancy just because of the different price oracles. But we would go and open up this position. But as soon as we open up that position, we need to go and execute on our short, right? So we need to go short some soul, short some AI16Z. We get short them at the same place, different places. If you do it at the same place, you can use cross margin, which is good. Meaning if one position is about to get liquidated, it dives into the other position as well. Looks at it from an overall portfolio standpoint, as opposed to the opposite. But you could short soul right over here on Radium, which is probably what I would do right? And you can use some leverage. And then we can also go and short AI 16 Z right over here with up to 10 X leverage. So again, I would not go with any crazy leverage, I would do 2 X leverage max, especially for stuff like AI 16 Z, just because you don't want to have to worry about liquidations. If AI 16 Z goes down 50%, you get liquidated. Now, or sorry, it goes up 50%, you'd get liquidated. Now keep in mind, if it goes up 50%, ideally, we're rebalancing our short, keep in mind, but also like eventually, it would get to a point where we're rebalancing our position to make sure that we are staying in range. So um, yeah, I mean, that's a Solana Delta neutral strategy. I mean, this was a pretty quick video. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, notifications turned on. A little bit torn what type of content you guys want me to make on this channel, so feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. And again, this sheet, free to access, whatever. Just uh, go to the link down below in the description. No hard hassles or anything like that. So, yeah. And right now I'm in a Ethereum to USDC short, but I'm going to be closing that out pretty soon. And when I do close it out, I'm going to keep you guys updated with what my results actually are and just be kind of transparent with you. I funded a brand new wallet with about 6000 bucks. Uh, for these long short strategies, Delta neutral, pseudo Delta neutral. So I'll keep you guys updated with, with how that goes and just kind of document my journey here on this channel. So I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.